percentage contribution for each mob, clear indicator for enraged mobs, interrupt being ready exactly at this indicator, cleaner and clearer design, all this with no extra add-ons or weak us. Hell yeah, mole player 2.0 baby. So one month into the War Within Season 2 and we've been constantly working on improving and bug fixing our mole player profile. Now in case you missed the original video where I go over all the features and how to install and configure it, be sure to check out the description because today we're focusing on all the new and shiny features of Moplater 2.0. First off, there won't be any more Pro and Light versions. It's just gonna be Mo Plater, and I will show you how to make it light if you don't want all the bells and whistles. Just stick around till the end of the video. Now, the first major feature is the mob percentage contribution in keys. So, if you ever killed the last boss of a dungeon but still didn't make the percentage, you were probably wondering where to go and what mobs to kill to make the key in time. Usually this either meant to have some extra weak aura or add-ons, but not anymore. See here? Once you have a mob selected, it will show you the exact percentage contribution so you will know exactly where you stand if you're missing 4-5% to after killing the last boss, or regardless of percentage. It's directly built into our player profile mods, so no need for extra stuff. Now this goes without saying, but... If you check the description, you will have the link to the newest player profile, right? So check the description, link to our wygo.io is there, moplayer 2.0 is waiting for you to just import into your player profiles and you will be good to go. Also, you'll have links to our Patreon and our Discord, like if you ever want some help or some assistance, be sure to check those as well. Second major new feature is the Enrage mod, and this will be quite useful, especially this season where we do have lots of different enrages on mobs in dungeons. It works flawlessly, like when a mob gets enraged, it will change its nameplate to orange and you will see a flashing suit text right on top of it. This way, if your party has any form of suit, you will never miss it. Once that mob is suited or the enrage has ended, it will go back to its original color and the flashing text will stop. Well, that is until it enrages again. Third new feature on the list is the interrupt ready at the mark mod. <laughs> so we already have a green border shown on the caspar of a mob if you have your interrupt ready. But if you want to be super precise with your kicks and are about to have yours ready, the cast bar will have a mark on it, indicating the exact time when your kick becomes ready so you can basically sync your press with the mark and impress all the girls at the bar with your killer reflexes. Now, this mod only works once you are very close to having your kick ready, so if you have like, I don't know, 7 seconds left, it won't show, because it wouldn't make any sense, purpose being to catch that mob cast right as your interrupt becomes available, and mob casts vary from 2 to 3 seconds. Side note here, for all you warlocks who always had errors with your player profiles that had the green border indicating interrupt available. You'll be happy to know that the Mo player has those errors fixed, so regardless of what Warlock spec you are, you get no errors and will clearly see the green border if you have your interrupt ready. Oh, by the way, our Patreons had early access to all these new features and given that the Mo player profile is 100% supported by them, it's only right to say a big thank you for their support and hey, you can get early access too to new features and updates on top of priority support for the player and everything else that comes with our Patreon. So if you'd like to help us maintain and constantly improve, consider joining on patreon.com slash marcellianonline. Not required, it's all free, but any form of help goes a very long way. Another new feature is the energy bar for bosses. Some of you already saw this, but it didn't always work and sometimes it bugged out. Not anymore. This was a feature requested by Stan, who did mention it would be quite useful especially for tanks and hey, there it is, working seamlessly in both dungeons and raids. You can see it underneath the boss's nameplate and once the boss casts something, it will disappear shortly for you to see the actual cast. 
and then it pops back up smoothly, non-intrusive and clean. Moplater 2.0 also brings the color codes to nameplates and casts to all delves now, so in case you are only interested in delving your heart out, you will have important casts marked with a big orange cast bar and a glow, you will see the frontals marked with a dark blue tint, important mobs to kill have their nameplates colored with the demon hunter purple, the enrage mod also works here as well and basically all the cool functionalities that can be applied in delves are available. We've also managed to color code all of the raid as well thanks to Sunshade's invaluable work. So you can take your Marcellian Online Plater into your raiding nights and everything will be crisp and clean. In terms of overall visual updates, the nameplates themselves shouldn't be as bulky as before. We've toned down the sizes a bit and cranked up the actual cast bars since these are very important to see and track. When you have a target selected, it should look a lot more clean, making space for better visual cues on buffs, debuffs, and most importantly, casts. All these changes make for even less color on your screen and better focus on what is important. Now, I did mention at the beginning of the video that there is no more pro and light versions. We just have the Moplater, which comes with all the cool features. However, if you are not interested in all the bells and whistles, you can deactivate any mod or script you desire. You just hit slash plater in your chat. From here, you go into modding. Here, you can just uncheck any mod you don't want activated and you're good to go. Same thing goes for specific scripts. You can go into scripting right here. And same as in mods, you can uncheck whatever script you don't want to use. This is how you basically make your mo player light, so to say. If you ask me, I wouldn't remove any of the mods or scripts because I've tried my best to make these as light as possible so they don't exhaust your PC resources. And in case you have any issues, you can always join our Discord. Link is in the description and throw a question in the support section where I will be more than happy to help. There's proof of that. Or you can become a Patreon and get priority support and feedback directly some features taking part of future versions of the profile. Just saying. Patreon link is also in the description, by the way. <laughs> now, just in case you missed it, there is an initial video about our player profile where I go into all the general features and color coding with more details on how to install and configure it. So be sure to also check that out. And once again, a warm thank you to all you legends on our Patreon for making this Mo Player profile possible. And yo, click here if you want to see all of our other add-ons and weak horrors that you see in our videos and we make use of all the time. Check it out.